I know this video has been covered about a million times, but I just wanted to give my account how it really happened. So I got to the venue super early. This is the Middle East in Boston. It was around six, seven. I saw people in line. I thought it was weird that there was a couple people, but I didn't really like think like that deep about it. I go inside, I start setting up, and I go back outside like two, three hours later, and right before the doors open, and I still see like 12, 13, 14 people. I'm like, whoa, this is kind of nuts, um, especially for someone like Smoke Purple who has like billboard hits and just a lot of views. So doors open, they get inside, show goes as planned. And shout out QNC. Uh, they're great promoters, DJs, and just good people overall. This, this shit was not their fault at all. So I'm inside shooting the openers, the DJs, and you know, just going on about the night. Then 11 o'clock hits. This is Smoke Perch supposed to go on. You know, rappers usually run late. It's not, it's not unusual for these things to happen. But people in the crowd, they're getting obviously annoyed because he's supposed to be there 11. I don't blame him. But an hour goes by and he's still not there. So I'm like, uh, damn, like what was going on? Like, I just want to kind of just shoot this and just leave. Uh, Cause I didn't want to be there until one in the morning. But then 12.05, he comes in, he's coming in like fucking Drake. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it was so over the top. It's like, bro, there's like 12 people here. Why are you coming in with like security, your manager, buffed up, um, and just like million, like it was so, it was mad weird. Um, so he comes in through the back door and <laughs> there's like, his whole team is like covering him so that the audience doesn't see him. But I see him through the corner of my eye because I'm in the back with my camera and he, he goes into the green room and the, the host, comes out he's like yo y'all ready for smoke perp throw your hands up hey and people are screaming uh so i'm like yeah this is about to go down i'm ready uh, i'm hype smoke perps here i'm about to shoot the best photos of my life so unfortunately 20 minutes go by another 10 goes by another five goes by he's still not coming out the fucking green room so I'm like, oh my God, what's going on, bro? It's about to be one in the morning. Like, I, I want to go home. At this point, I don't even care about the photos. Then finally, they're like, yo, you ready? The DJ plays us. <laughs> the DJ comes out, he sets up, and um, he plays a SpongeBob track. <laughs> it's <was> so bad. <laughs> he plays a SpongeBob track, and he's like, yo, y'all ready for Smoke Perp? F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. And this song, he's like, y'all ready, y'all ready? The song keeps playing. And then um, Chief Keef comes on. Smoke Perp walks out. Uh, super slow. It, it, it's like he's like he does not want to be there. He's walking out to Chief Keef. The DJ cuts the track. He's like, y'all ready? Everyone's screaming. Smoke Perp's there. He gives him the mic. He does not say a word. Smoke Perps walking back and forth, and the DJ plays one of X's songs. Fucked up, fucked up, fucked up. <laughs> and Smoke Perps like looking back, looking forth, and he's not performing. I'm like, this is so weird. At the time, I I didn't know it was an X song, cause I was just like, yo, I want to shoot. Like, can you perform? I'm not even thinking about it. Then Juice World song comes on. Smoke purse walking back and forth. Then another someone else's song comes on. I'm like, oh yo, these these aren't even his songs. Like, what's going on? The fuck? Then finally Audi plays and he's performing. I'm like, oh man, thank the Lord. But the song plays and then he cuts it short. He goes back to the DJ. He's like, yo, cut it, cut it, cut it. 
I'm like, what the hell? You performed like 10 seconds of this. Um, then his he plays a little pump song with him. One of his last song plays, and he goes to the back where the DJ is. I got all these photos, by the way. He goes to the back where the DJ is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw your hands up. <laughs> That's all he says. <laughs> and then um, he cuts the song, and then he goes back up, performs 10 seconds of, um, I think it's Nephew. He's like, yo, cut it, cut it. The DJ cuts it, and then he walks to the back. He goes up to me. He sees my camera. He's like, yo, take this photo. I took the photo, and that was it. He dipped. He was supposed to do a meet and greet, but he didn't do it. So I go up to the front. I'm like, yo, this is actually like, why would you do this to your like fans? Like, this is so fucked up. Yeah, I got the video. I, 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 I interviewed a couple people. I was like, yo, what you think about the show? What you think about the show? What you think about the show? I asked a couple people and, you know, they kind of spoke candidly and they were upset, like, uh, as they should be. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the night concluded. I, I heard one dude, my friend Trey, or T, I think his name is, he went to the, he went up to the, the Sprinter van. He was like, yo, Perp, can I get a photo? Cause you didn't give me the meet and greet photo. Smoke Perp was like, hell no. <laughs> so yeah that's how it went down um those are all the details just so things don't get like mixed up um but i appreciate y'all watching i don't know if i'm gonna make more youtube videos i just kind of wanted to clear the air with this but um yeah definitely check out my instagram at is this carter uh you can see some great photos you can see the photos from smoke perp show um and yeah uh peace and love <laughs>